Hi guys, how's it going? I know we're all excited about the launch of the Oculus Quest 2. However, there have been some changes, including the fact that we have to log in with our Facebook accounts. What does it all mean? What do you need to know? Let's dive in. What I want people to know is that everything they're doing online is being watched, is being tracked, is being measured. Every single action you take is carefully monitored and recorded. Exactly what image you stop and look at, for how long you look at it. Oh yeah, seriously, for how long you look at it. Bonjour, comment ça va? Welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality. Recently, there was a documentary released on Netflix called The Social Dilemma. The Social Dilemma talks about a lot of different aspects that may impact us all. However, there is one key topic that I felt was very relevant to VR. This is what every business has always dreamt of, to have a guarantee that if it places an ad, it will be successful. That's their business. They sell certainty. In order to be successful in that business, you have to have great predictions. Great predictions begin with one imperative. You need a lot of data. Now, Facebook do make it clear on the privacy policy that they do not share any data to any third parties whatsoever. Personally, for me, the fact that advertisers have to come on board and pay money in order to contribute towards the survival of a platform isn't so much the issue. Of course, some of the data that might be shared includes my name, my gender, my race, where I am, my location, and all these kind of things. But that doesn't really bother me that much. Now, the social dilemma brings a lot of different industry professionals who have actually worked for all these giant social media networks at very high positions. Facebook conducted what they called massive scale contagion experiments. Okay. How do we use subliminal cues on the Facebook pages to get more people to go vote in the midterm elections? And they discovered that they were able to do that. One thing they concluded is that we now know we can affect real world behavior and emotions without ever triggering the user's awareness. They are completely clueless. One of the key things that come out of this documentary again and again is the fact that these social networks are developing algorithms that potentially can alter parts of our personality and predict our next movement before we can even think of it as much as to actually implant thoughts into our brain so that we do specific actions without us even knowing about it at all. This is going to impact virtual reality in a huge way. First of all, Facebook, who are pricing a product extremely low, is not of a coincidence. They need more users and they need to be able to get as much data from a virtual reality user as much as possible. The amount of data that can be mined via someone who has a virtual reality headset on their head is so much more valuable than someone who's actually behind a computer. First of all, the cameras track not just your face, but also the outside world. So Facebook will effectively have access to any products that are inside your room and be able to use that data as part of their product development. Secondly, they will have the technology to be able to record any of your reactions given any specific circumstance in any specific app, especially in Facebook Horizon. We're pointing these engines of AI back at ourselves to reverse engineer what elicits responses from us. Almost like you're stimulating nerve cells on a spider to see what causes legs to respond. So it really is this kind of prison experiment where we're just, you know, roping people into the matrix and we're just harvesting all this money and, and data from all their activity to profit from. And we're not even aware that it's happening. They will be able to record all your interactions with all your friends or people that you're talking with as well as when you're talking to yourself, wandering in a world, for example, 
or also when you're interacting with specific objects and games within the apps themselves. Now, Facebook are probably not the only ones to do this. There probably is a reason as to why all the other social media VR platforms are for free. Parents need to be very aware and very cautious that governments and big brands with multi-million dollars may access these social media VR platforms to implant thoughts or ideas or spread messages that aren't necessarily true to kids, teenagers and others who may potentially be vulnerable. On the other side of the screen, it's almost as if they have this avatar voodoo doll, like model of us. All of the things we've ever done, all the clicks we've ever made, all the videos we've watched, all the likes, that all gets brought back into building a more and more accurate model. The model, once you have it, you can predict the kinds of things that person does. And so all of this data that we're, that we're just pouring out all the time is being fed into these systems that have almost no human supervision and that are making better and better and better and better predictions about what we're gonna do and, and who we are. Ultimately, the decision really rests with you whether you wish to be part of the Facebook ecosystem as you will need a Facebook account to log in to the Oculus Quest 2 upon purchase and also any other Oculus device as it's no longer part of the Oculus ecosystem anymore. Just be aware that in the future, in depending what world you'll be going in, just like the news feed or like the Facebook applications, you'll probably be seeing a lot of different things that other users will see because everything undoubtedly as the future progresses, it will be personalized to our own individual needs and suitability so that ultimately they can make more money. Yeah, let's me out of what I want when I wash. Yeah, let's me out of what I want when I wash. Yeah, let's me out of what I want when I wash. Yeah, let's me out of what I want when I wash. Yeah, let's me out of what I want when I wash. Yeah, let's me out of